Hey guys, what's up? So phase one is really like the gold gathering phase. And that is why I've covered it so much in the last few videos. And we've talked a lot about different farming areas within Azeroth. Uh, and this could be inside of a dungeon like Maradon or out in the world in a higher level zone like Felwood or Silithus. Uh, the majority of players who farm gold are going to be out in the world and they use the auction house as a tool to sell their spoils. However, you can make thousands of gold simply by sitting in Orgamar or spending time in trade chat. So my first tip is that you have a good solid chunk of gold first. Obviously you need money to be able to make money on the auction house. So once you have maybe 50 to 100 gold, you can actually start looking at flipping some items. Now, between Friday and Sunday, we often see a lot more players online. And because of this, that means there's oftentimes uh, much more items listed on the auction house. And just because of that, the price of things tends to go down. So we can use this time to pick up useful items for reduced prices. Now this is where an auction house add-on comes in. Uh, it's really, really hard to deal with the auction house, especially on these large servers without some sort of auction house add-on. Uh, people listing things for very, very low bid prices, uh, people listing tons and tons of silk cloth or you know, mining materials that are all in stacks of one. Uh, it can be really, really hard without some kind of auction add-on that does a lot of that um, busy work and, you know, sorting for you. So because of this, I would definitely recommend getting an auction house add-on. I personally use AUX or AUX, um, but this is just a personal preference. So, you know, whatever auction house add-on you find that works for you um, is, you know, totally okay. Just make sure you invest in the time to get an auction house add-on it will save you a lot of headache in the future so we really just want an auction house add-on that will show historical prices and this means that we can easily search through different items and and you know gauge what things have been selling for in the past now as i've stated before i look for items that i know will sell well later and this can be months later or just days later so let's give a few examples if you want safe bets for months down the line uh, i've already kind of discussed this level 19 and 29 twink gear can be pretty solid but you need to be you need to start being careful because prices have already started to climb um, with all the twink gear that I've purchased, I've already made an insane amount of profit and I'm not even selling it until phase three when Warsong Gulch is out. Uh, because of this, twink items are just going to keep going up in price, especially as more and more people um, are able to hit 60 and farm mo more gold. Um, now, nature resistance gear is also a good thing to look for. I have about eight pieces that I've picked up so far. Most of them are rings, which are really what people are going to be looking for. Uh, and I've picked these up for one to five gold each. And I'm pretty confident that, you know, when AQ comes out, they're going to be going for anywhere between 10 and 20 gold each, um, which is not like a crazy increase in gold, but it's a very simple thing that I just do each day is just quickly do a search and it can really add up over time. Another really good one, obviously, is materials for professions. Uh, not even necessarily to flip, but just buying profession materials now if you have any, any plans of uh, leveling up a, another character and you're, and you're going to want a profession on them, or you have plans like I do to pick up mining, or I mean, excuse me, not mining, but engineering before phase two, which is the PvP phase, um, I will be getting like all of my mats between here and now, or between now and then, so then I can, you know, spend less money on materials when it's closer to phase two. Because as I've said m many times before, tons and tons of people are leveling right now. And so skinning all the leather on the auction house is going for really cheap. Uh, cloth is going pretty cheap. And also all the mining materials are going fairly cheap. And just throughout time, all these things are going to slowly creep up in price. Probably not a whole lot, um, but it is a good idea to invest in some of those now. So let's talk more about quick returns. So we talked about things that will make you money, you know, months down the line. 
but there are some certain items out there that can net you a lot of money just on a day-to-day -day change. And uh, let's just get right into it. So most guilds raid on Monday or Tuesday. And the reason that a lot of guilds raid on these days is it's right before raid reset. And also in phase two, it's right before the PVP ranks are updated. So most players are done by that point in the week uh, farming honor and so they can respect for the raid. Uh, because of this information, we can, you know, be sure that all the raiding materials uh, and consumables are going to be going for a lot more gold on Monday and Tuesday. Just on average, players tend to put things off, procrastinate, or forget, and then they are pushed to quickly get consumables before their raid night, and so oftentimes people are buying these on the day of raid. This means that you can scan the auction house and you can buy up cheap potions uh, and materials throughout the week. Then, come early Monday, you can post and monitor the auction house throughout the day for raiders to purchase spendy potions and consumables just because they weren't prepared. Uh, on Feralina, which is my server, there is a 30 to 50% markup on the raid days on average, which is very easy gold. Uh, you know, mana potions are going for 2 gold to 2 gold 50 silver on every other day of the week. And then on the raid days, I see them going for 3, 4, 5 gold even. Uh, so it's a really good idea to, you know, plan ahead. If you're going to be raiding, make sure you don't purchase your raid consumes the day of if you raid on Monday or Tuesday. And then for everyone else out there that's trying to make some money, that's definitely a solid way of doing it. So my safe suggestion though for all of this, all of these tips is that if you're going to try and flip raid consumes or any other items on the auction house, purchase things that are significantly reduced in price. Don't purchase something that's just, you know, a few silver cheaper because you still have to list it on the auction house and there are fees to do that. Um, so you want to make sure you're going to be making a very good, uh, you know, percentage change. And now another big tip is also purchase things that you yourself, if you are stuck with, you can get some use out of them. Um, so my example for that would be if you're a rogue, maybe buy mats to make mongoose potions and flask of the titans and don't try and deal with caster consumables because if you're stuck with uh, a flask of supreme power or some mana potions, they're of no use to you. So at least if you're stuck with some you know potions that you bought for a pretty good price uh, and you can't sell them you yourself can use them uh, and that will kind of ease the the feeling of being let down by uh, you know purchasing something that was a little bit more expensive so those are my tips obviously some things will go down in price over time uh, things like greater fire protection potions are really hot right now because guilds are struggling with the content um, and they kind of need these greater fire protections potions to help with uh, raid healing and and all that kind of stuff but as time goes on those uh, potions will go down in price um, whereas things like mana potions are always going to be needed and they kind of hold their value a little bit more so uh, you definitely kind of have to you know know the the items before you just go into the auction house and buy things up um, so maybe have a good few days of checking the auction house and gauging the price of things. Um, but those are my big auction house tips. You definitely can just play the auction house and make a lot of money in Classic WoW. Uh, things are always fluctuating in price. And like I said, hindsight's 2020 and Classic WoW, we know exactly what's coming out. So if you just prepare yourself for, you know, say new uh, enchanting, uh, recipes that will be out in phase two or new patterns that are going to be out in phase two. I'm looking at, you know, heart of the wild, or I mean, excuse me, hide of the wild, um, the, the healing cloak, you know, mats for those are going to be significantly more expensive uh, at the very beginning of a new phase coming out. So those are, you know, easy ways for you to stockpile items that you know will be going up in price. Um, you know, Classic WoW is just a game of of knowledge, really. Uh, the more you, you know it about Classic WoW and how it played out in the past, 
uh, will help you going forward. So hopefully these tips were helpful. Uh, hopefully uh, you learned something new here, guys. I probably am done with, you know, all the gold videos for now. And on Monday, we'll go back to some other content. But like I said, phase one is really important for making gold. So I really wanted to get some tips out there this week. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, thank you to my Patreon supporters and welcome to Eli Z and L3 Mac. I really appreciate the support. Uh, if you are a Patreon supporter, check out the message that I have on Patreon for suggestions on videos that you guys would like to see. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.